And we begin with some dramatic new pictures out of Grass Valley right now showing a tree falling and crashing right on top of a car. That driver appeared to be OK, but it's another warning on just how dangerous the roads are in some areas right now. We want to show you this a live look tonight in Grass Valley. We're tracking snowfall causing those major issues tonight. Officials are warning people to stay off the roads due to whiteout conditions and road closures. Let's show you a look at the roadways right now with images from Caltrans on Highway 50. That's in Twin Bridges and that's Interstate 80 in Castle Peak. 80 has been shut down since later this or late this morning and Highway 50 is shut down from Polly Pines to Myers for avalanche control and you can see those plows moving through that part and we want to show you this we're tracking power outages as well with more than 50,000 customers without power at this point across the state in our area more than 8,000 customers are without power in Nevada County and more than 3,600 are in the dark tonight in Placer County we've seen dozens of schools across the region announce they will be closed for at least tomorrow due to the snow and for that we'll be running a ticker at the bottom of your screen screen throughout the newscast and on all those school closures and we'll update it as, as, as those closures as they come in. We have live team coverage of the snow in the Sierra right now with crews in both Nevada and El Dorado counties, but we start with KCRA 3's Chief Meteorologist Mark Fine with where the snow is coming down right now. Yeah, you know, in the Sierra today, it's either been snowing heavily or snowing moderately. We're down to more of the moderate category. There's some of the lower elevations where it's hardly snowing at all, but it's really interesting how the snow continues in the Sierra, even though the valley is dry. And we did have some thunderstorms go through the valley in the late afternoon, but shortly after the sun went down, the valley has been dry other than a sprinkle or two. But you can just see how the snow seems to form at elevations above about 2,500 feet and still getting some light snow in parts of Lake County. Let me show you what's happening in Tuolumne County and parts of Calaveras County here along Highway 4. Arnold at about 3,800 to 4,000 feet is just snowing and snowing and snowing. And a little bit farther to the south in Twain Hart, it's the same thing. Feet of snow piling up there. The snow a little bit more hit and miss into parts of western El Dorado County, but once you get up the hill toward Pollock Pines and farther up the hill toward Kybers, it's really snowing. But as you can see right now in Placerville, we've had some snow during the day. But right now everything is pretty quiet and then farther to the north. Yeah, Interstate 80. It has been closed since 10 o'clock this morning. Highway 20 is also closed from Nevada City to Interstate 80, and those roads are likely to be closed all day tomorrow too. Back to you. All right, Mark, thank you. And back to the impact of all that snow. Thousands are without power in Placer and Nevada County right now. And KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo is live now in Grass Valley where we've seen those issues on the roads there, Melanie. So what are you seeing right now? Well, it is clear at the moment, but around 630 tonight, we really saw the snow pick up and start to stick along the roadways. State Route 49 was getting slicked over with a nice layer of snow. And then since that time, snow plows have come and uh, cleared that path. But it's been off and on for the past 24 hours or so. And that's where we're really seeing all of this snow around these main roads piling up. As I mentioned, this is State Route 49 Brunswick Road off of that that leads into some shopping centers here. We have seen plows working to clear the snow from these main drags here in town as we expect cooler temperatures overnight and more snow. Venturing out while there's a window of opportunity heading back now before it starts uh, snowing again in town to pick up some essential supplies. I'm trying to get home before it freezes, and that's when things get really scary. The talk of the town. The roads are definitely pretty slick out there. Is about road conditions and what people in Grass Valley don't want to have to deal with as temperatures drop and more snow accumulates. There's a lot of deep snow pockets and slush and ice forming. An open supermarket, a welcome site for shoppers who've driven or even walked here. Use your two legged drive if you can. Um, that's what we're doing. Getting supplies to last through the next few days at a store doing what it can to make it a safe trip. Constantly shoveling it and um, salting it down so that um, anyone that dares to make the trip in can make it in safely. People from the area telling us the snow doesn't usually get this bad in their foothills community. I have to go all the way back to when I was 10 years old and uh, it was waist high for me. But then again, there was last year. Last year we had snow apocalypse. 
everyone remembers the day after Christmas storm. We had what we consider to be snowmageddon. <laughs> Relief that so far this one hasn't brought the same damage. It broke more trees and it was a little bit more of a heavy snow. Or the same headaches. That was a lot worse because the power was going out and people were really stuck. So they're riding out the last few weeks of winter, prepared as much as possible for what may come their way. We're ready now. <laughs> And according to the Nevada County website, you should know that tomorrow, February 28th, all western and eastern Nevada County facilities will be closed because of this winter storm. County roads, wastewater, and the sheriff's patrol services will continue as usual. But again, the county says that many of those county facilities are going to be closed because of this winter storm. So that is just one of the main impacts that the storm has had when it closes down county buildings on a normal work day. You know it's a pretty severe storm. Reporting live in Nevada County tonight, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Melanie, thank you so much for the update. And now we want to get to the closures along Highway 50. KCRA 3's Orco Mana is live now in Pollock Pine. So, Orco, I know you've been out there throughout the day. What's it looking like tonight? Well, Andrea, the snow doesn't seem to be falling much right now, but we've definitely felt the winds pick up. In fact, the wind picking up some of the snow on the ground and hitting us in the face. But there is a lot of snow still on the ground. You can see that here. That's why Caltrans crews are still blocking Highway 50 here in Pollock Pines all the way to Myers. Because of those conditions, you can see this crew here with those cones and those signs. Meanwhile, drivers are wondering when they will be able to get through. For drivers heading up Highway 50, it's hard to miss the heavy snow and strong winds. Those conditions have led to low visibility. Chains were required for much of the day Monday. And Caltrans crews eventually had to block Highway 50 east of Pollock Pines and west of Myers because of multiple spinouts and near whiteout conditions. One by one, travelers are being turned away. Many of them are praying they can get to their destinations. I'm waiting for a uh, magic, you know. <laughs> I hope I'll get to, to Tahoe. If nothing changed, I'll go home. Trying to walk or ski your way through? <laughs> that won't work either. Several drivers are parked right by the Highway 50 on ramp. Gotta do what you gotta do. So here's my dinner. A little chicken Caesar salad. And some are eating food to pass the time. But locals say this is a traffic nightmare. Just people coming up from Sacramento area or San Francisco trying to get up to Tahoe is making it horrible for us. So I'm just gonna say, you guys just stay home. Don't come up here, please. <laughs> Plows remove snow from the parking lot of the Pollock Pine Safeway, and residents are wiping off their cars too. I'm used to it. <laughs> but what a lot of people are not used to is snow falling like this in Placerville. Some came to see the sights. Well, I've just brought my granddaughter up for a fun drive to see the snow. She's been wanting to to get out and see it. This little girl's agenda. Throwing snowballs at grandma. As crews work to clear the roadway, most drivers are following the most basic rule. We're just taking it slow and easy. Now the million dollar question for those drivers is when Highway 50 will be back open. We actually spoke to a gentleman just a few minutes ago who asked when it would be open and right now we do not have an ETA. The Caltrans spokesperson that I spoke with says that it could reopen around midnight, but that all depends on the conditions here. We were told that due to the conditions and also because of some blowers being impacted by the road conditions that time frame could be extended but right now caltrans what they're telling me is potentially around midnight is when highway 50 could be back open reporting live in pollock pines tonight orca man at kcra 3 news that's just a fluid situation orco thank you meantime the national park service has closed yosemite through at least wednesday due to all this heavy snow the park sent out this picture over the weekend of the snow while the park was as in between storms park rangers say they are expecting a few feet of snow on the valley floor 
Nevada, a similar a similar conditions there. Fire officials in Washoe Valley say more than 36 vehicles crashed on the icy roads. This is on Interstate 580. And like agencies across the Sierra, they say visibility is low and the roads are treacherous. So slow down or do not go out at all. And that's emphasized here with this tweet from Mono Sheriff's Office. Quote, the roads are closed all of them. There is no alternate route back way or secret route. It's a blizzard, people. You cannot see your hand in front of your face, let alone a snow stake to guide your way. Stay home. That's the message from them tonight, and this came after Caltrans warned about whiteout conditions in the eastern Sierra near Bridgeport, closing down Highway 395.